they know that this is a prime target because um, after a certain time, there really is nobody here. Mine's right here. Constance Hill says she's been a customer at the post office near Florin and Watt Avenue for over 10 years. This is the worst. I have never seen this my entire duration of being here. Um, it hurts my heart because this is really has been a, a good area um, to have, you know, your mail come to. U.S. Postal inspectors say there has been numerous P.O. box break ins at this location, and Hill says she's been a victim of that crime. That I've lost some merchandise, um, and I'm not the only one. And what it is is that you don't feel um, secured. Mail theft is a federal crime that comes with a serious punishment. These are ongoing investigations. These are federal offenses. Potential penalty of up to five years in federal prison, up to $250,000 fine. Postal Inspector also, Jeff Fitch says the latest break-in happened just over a week ago. We're constantly assessing security, and that's something working with the postal management and the employees will determine if any uh, upgrades in security. But Hill says there's no question. Something needs to be done. This is people's personal livelihood, um, their credit cards, medical, their bills, whatever it may be, it doesn't really matter. It affects us all. Those impacted receiving this letter in their boxes, urging them to check for fraud. If you see something on a credit card statement or a check statement for transactions that you did not make, contact us leaving some paying customers on edge it's like an urgency now an urgency and i never had that before before i'm like okay if, if it's there for a day or two it's all good but now it's like oh no you got to get there today because there's no guarantee that my mail is going to be here and the inspector that I talked to today says there is no suspect information at this time. Now, they say there is a $10,000 reward for anybody that has information that may lead to an arrest. Here in Sacramento, Denika Hill, KCRA 3 News.